moment to talk to you about the social observation exercise and report, which is your final piece of assessment for HSP 107, Introduction to Policing. Uh, as you know, this one's a little more involved than other assignments, and it's not so much that it's more work, it just requires different work, which is kind of cool. It's, it's interesting work. So you're essentially doing the observation that you planned in your first um, assessment item, your little hundred word paragraph of where, when, who, how, that, that's what you're enacting in this assignment and you actually have to write up a short report about that. As you probably already know, it's due end of week 13, Friday the 20th of May, and you can upload that by midnight. We've given you a 1,000 uh, word word count and it's weighted at 30%. Now because this assignment task requires a little more thinking um, than usual and you kind of have to have a bit of knowledge about what observation is and all of that sort of stuff, Romy has done an excellent recording that talks about what social observation is and how you do it, what are the things that you look for, all of those types of things. At the moment it is Friday um, at the end of week one at 20 past five in the morning, um, and I haven't had a chance to upload it yet, but I'm hoping it'll be up there by Monday, provided that I can get in touch with Richard Barker today and he can show me how to put the um, recordings across and all of that sort of stuff. So it's due at the end of week 13. What you actually need to do is you need to, you know, action your little plan that you put together, undertake your observation of a public social event that you planned in your second assessment, and then prepare and submit a 1,000 word written report describing the social event, its setting, your observations, and an analysis of your observations and conclusions in relation to the literature that you discussed. So if you can see that that social space is being structured by um, gender, for instance, um, <coughs> so you might walk into a punk gig, the whole front of the room is full of, um, of guys and they are um, moshing like crazy in a circle pit. And then at the back of the room, there's a whole bunch of girls and they're kind of standing around with their hands in their pockets or, or whatever. You can clearly see that, that gender is an issue which is structuring that social setting. So that's what you would talk about um, in, your, in your report. You would talk about the fact that you noticed that gender was something that structured the social setting, uh, that this is you know, something that Smith or Taylor picked up in their research literature that you reviewed in your literature review originally. So you don't have to find any new sources um, unless we tell you that all the sources that you had weren't very good in the, in the literature review. You just draw on the ones that you had in your lit review. It's pretty, pretty easy, really. So carefully observe a public social event with a focus on the social factors that structure the event and write a 1,000 word report. Make sure you listen to the lecture recording about doing observation before you do this task. Um, and as I said, I'll pop this up on the Milo site for you. Just a reminder that I'm using the online chat uh, slides to go through these videos with you. So everything I'm telling you is already available on the web. <coughs> so there's some general guidelines. Um, they're quite detailed things around the fact that you should have at least 10 to 15 people involved in a social event. It might be a sporting fixture, a market, Salamanca, cultural event, public performance, festival, gym, church service, whatever. There's a whole bunch of different ones that you can do it in. Um, the event needs to be clearly public so that there's no problems with, you know, uh, observing the event. We don't want to have any phone calls to the university going, well, we have this dude down at the, um, you, you know, down at one of our swingers events. Um, he was taking lots of notes. It was really um, creepy. Uh, I believe he's one of your students. We don't want that stuff happening, all right? So make sure it's a nice public event. And you can even talk to the people before you go in there and say, hey, just so you know, I'm doing this cool assignment. Um, I just need to take some notes about what's happening in this social event. Is that okay? That, that's a nice little way of saying, all's good, I'm, I'm not a terrorist, <laughs> or whatever else. So it should be unobtrusive observation. 
um, and you shouldn't be interacting with the people um, in a lengthy way in that social setting. They may well be people that you already know because you go to that sporting event or whatever every week, but just try and remember as an observer, you're sitting there and you're writing down what's happening. Okay, so that's really important. Try and focus on two different things. Observe general, um, observe and identify general information about the event, number of participants, size of the venue, typical age, gender balance, all of that stuff. And observe and identify the structuring effect of social factors. So that stuff around gender that I was talking about before. You have to identify and describe the patterns of action and behaviour in a particular social setting or event. Okay, it's, it's pretty straightforward stuff. Describe how the participants in the event might be divided into groups by social factors, men compared to women, older versus younger, um, those supporting one team compared to those supporting another. Have a look at things like age, ethnicity, gender, clothing, degree of involvement, all of those types of things. And how these influence other patterns of behaviour, such as seating, what is eaten, how long they stay, the level of interaction, excitement, any social behaviour. It's, um, it's really fun stuff. I really enjoy this sort of stuff. Are there any distinct similarities between the attendees? Does anyone stand out? Are there people that don't seem to fit there? You know, question this stuff. Why? What's happening? You're not required to interpret what's going on. That's really important, all right? You, sh you don't have to speculate about why they're behaving that way. You're just describing the patterns of behaviour that you see. So a basic structure then for all students is an introduction, stating the nature of the event, etc. A detailed account of what occurred. This is probably about 350 words. A clear account of the way that action was structured by social factors, such as gender, age, teams are supported, etc., etc. That's probably about another 350 words. So maybe two paragraphs in each section for those two things. A brief conclusion of about 100 words and any diagrams in the appendix. That means at the back. Any references that you use to bring in and actually look at your analysis, put those in a reference list um, before your appendix, okay? And make sure you use your nice clear sentence structure and paragraph structure. We'll talk more about that in the online chat. You need to act in a professional way. This is a really big, important note. We don't want people doing things which are unprofessional or unethical in any way. I did a similar observation task um, in one of my units at QUT and people had to focus on different crime um, and policing issues. And um, one of the, the examples that I gave them was, I don't want you to go through you know, an airport check-in area with a knife in your bag to see what the response of the security personnel is going to be. It needs to be unobtrusive. It needs to be sitting there looking like you're actually just planning an assignment or something, all right? That's, that's absolutely key. So keep those things in mind. Okay. <clears throat> There's a lot more information on these slides that I'm going to go through for this. Um, you can read them at any time. And all of the information is already out there on the assessment site for you. But examples, a public viewing of a sporting game, a nightclub, a concert in a bar, um, the gym, choir practice, all of these things. It might be a protest event, it might be some make a market. Any of these things will help you with this assignment. I won't go through the criteria now, but remembering to make sure that you've got that nice um, sort of essay structure, an introduction, your body with a few paragraphs in it, and then a good conclusion, and making sure that your paragraph structure follows that peel way of doing things. P for point, E for evidence, I'm oh, sorry, E for elabor elaboration, <laughs> I'll get it out eventually, um, E for evidence, and L for linking sentences. So making sure that you're keeping that nice um, structure throughout this task. We'll talk more about that when we do the online chat. That's it for now. I hope that was helpful, folks. And please do get in touch if you've got any questions uh, at all about anything. Okay, see you soon.